When I was pregnant, I used to say that I can't wait to pop out this job <laughs> so that I'll rest. <laughs> but that was pure lie. Once you give birth to a child, you are in for it, for life. You think about someone for life. And one of those things you think about a child is. The hospital you will use for the child's immunization. You know, this is my second child. Actually deciding deciding the hospital I'll use for immunization was kind of a decision, a tough one for me because I gave birth to her in a private hospital. But my first child, even though I I used I immunize her in, 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 in teaching hospital, that is University of Potaco Teaching Hospital. But well, I wanted to just, you know, try out a private hospital with my second child. So my first experience after I gave birth to her, I concluded that teaching hospital is best for me when it comes to immunization, guys. So, and I finally decided to go there for a lot of reasons. The price of the vaccines are way cheaper in the teaching hospital than like the private hospitals. If you've experienced it, like, you know that the price of the vaccines is like times two of what you get it in the teaching hospitals. And also, you 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 tell you are sure of the vaccines in teaching hospitals. It's believed that they have original original vaccines. Guys, tell me what you think. I feel like it's a federal hospital, so they got they get most of the private hospitals get their vaccines from them. So and unlike what people say, like popular opinion that teaching hospitals are always populated. When it comes to vaccination, I've never experienced any population. We are at the NTA road. If you look, you see the NT Nigerian Authority, Nigerian sorry, Nigerian Television Authority. There are masses. This is the fence of NTA. This is the fence. If you look close, you see the long mass. That tiny long mass. That's a long mass. And this is the entrance to the NTA. The people that give us the fake news in Nigeria. <laughs> guys okay see you guys in upth when we get there so this is the entrance to upth we are heading towards the gate so guys like i was saying i feel like even for the little experience i had when I was going to, to go into the private hospital, so one, one day that I went, they don't even have the vaccine. I have to wait for them to get the vaccine. I, I, I know, you know where they're, they're, they're getting it from, of course, from the tissue hospitals, where, they are, where, they are, where the government supplies it. So, so for me, tissue hospital is best, even though the distance is kind of far, but I mean, it's worth it. It's cheaper. When you calculate the money you use for transport, you see that it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I can clear like that. I, I like I like it when it's cheaper. Hello everyone. Hi guys. We are on our way to the one year immunization for my daughter. For our one year, we are already in the hospital entrance, UPTH. Jewel, say hi. Say hi to my friends. <laughs> say hi. Chicken, I say. She's too small. Say hi. She's too, she's too big. She's too small. <laughs> she's too big. Big and big. Oh, yeah, say hi. Precious, say hi to my hi. friends. Hi. Show yourself in the camera so they will see your face. Say hi. Hi. She's on break, so that's why she's going with us for the immunization. Normally, she will not go with us. And she doesn't like hospital, but she has to go. She has no choice. So, guys, let's go inside.
guys see this see this very massive building that is that this hospital have but that all dilapidated they don't maintain you see fine building like this is our country you see it's getting old day by day no maintenance guy This is the main entrance to the hospital and we are going inside. This is the reception. I wish I could give it for hospital tour but <laughs> hey, I fit in. <laughs> the hospital is so big, it's quite big. I, I know I've experienced this hospital. I gave birth to my first child here, so I know. The only advantage of this hospital here. Hmm. If you want to pay for something, you will go to long distance to pay for one thing. You go to long distance to get this one, as in everything is. The hospital is big. I can imagine I'll be walking down just to get to where to um, immunize my baby. Yeah. This is radiology department. We just passed radiology department. I don't know if there are no she's she will be injected very soon. I do, I'm feeling for her because they're going to shoot her injection. Like anyways, you have no choices for good. Guys, unlike the popular opinion, there's no population here. We are al almost at the immunization place and see the station for the immunization. See, there's nobody here. Unlike we hear people say that federal hospitals are populated. But see, So first of all, they, they weighed her to know her weight, whether it's okay for her, her age, one year. I also, I also think the nurses, the nurses here that are more experienced when it comes to immunizing babies. She's on a service. She, she, are you laughing now? Are you happy now? 
Yes. Are you still crying? She's not crying. Are you still crying? Please don't cry. Don't cry. It's for good. Precious, say hi. Hi. You are done with immunization now. We're about to head home. We stopped at a drugstore to greet a friend. See Chidera. Chidera is now okay. She's no longer crying. She's now she's no longer feeling pains from her vaccine from, from her immunization. She's now running around. She's such a strong girl. Like, yeah, she's very strong. And now I agree with me that immunizing your child in the in the senior hospital is not that bad. At least it's cheaper, the nurses are more experienced, you know, the vaccines are always available and you are sure that the original vaccines. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Bye.